last week we're covering theta and there was a massive update december 2022 and theta has really taken things up quite a few notches so they were uh theta.tv was a big part of it now they have data storage so enterprise data storage solutions and getting more into the nft the streaming space and i'm really glad that we took a little step back and dove in because it was quite the rabbit hole so i do have the staking pulled up here there's four different ways that we can stake now i'll just do a brief overview of each quickly uh, we can do a couple of them live we've got edge nodes allows you to relay video streams over the Theta network and earn T-Fuel. So the Guardian node is what we were just discussing. So they've got a really clean interface. It's a bit more technical if you've never gone through anything like this before, but it's supported. You can work through it. You can learn. They're very supportive in the community as well. You can add like a, an edge node as well. Basically, it's the same process. The T-Drop is the one that I really wanted to focus on here. This is the new one. So with their Theta Drop NFT marketplace, decentralized governance for Theta Drop and reward stakers with T-Drop token rewards. So it is a TNT20 token built on the Theta blockchain is where we're going to get into here next. Uh, centered around the ground groundbreaking concept of NFT liquidity mining. Right now is a definitely a good time, in my opinion, to be paying attention, to be really researching this stuff, to be diving deep, because when it changes momentum, when the inflation starts basically dropping off compared to the growth, to the adoption, which we're getting to that point, potentially it'll start with Theta. Theta will be the first one to move and t fuel and then getting into the ecosystem this is where we're getting into more nfts so uh film festivals they're doing event tickets so pay stubs stuff like that this is where they're more so looking at artists they're looking at people that are producing music they're producing videos they're producing content and it's not that they're looking to be the next YouTube, but they're laying the foundation so that you can be your own YouTube. You can run with your own channel, your own setups and broadcast to your community. So some of the cool things is memberships or certain gated access. So for instance, with event tickets, you know, the one and done kind of thing, whereas also for something like a subscription service like Day Trade Masters, we can use something like this for delivering our our video content so it's where we start looking at web3 integrations we can register with our wallets instead of having to use the kyc process and credit cards they're moving in the direction where this can captivate a large audience this is where it can take things off really quickly and that's the cool thing about these calls is you can fast track some of that learning you know just asking questions watching the analysis what we go through mm -hmm.